Hey guys, welcome back to another TechSpot video. This time we're going to be taking a look at storage performance and how it impacts real world scenarios. So in other words, we're putting away synthetic benchmarks such as Crystal Disk Mark and AS SSD Benchmark. Using a dedicated capture device, we're going to record how quickly our Core i7-6700K test system completes various tasks using Samsung's new 960 EVO SSD. Uh, those findings will be compared with results from Crucial's MX300, which is an affordable TLC-based SATA SSD, and we'll also be throwing in a WD Red Pro 4TB mechanical hard drive for comparison as well. This isn't going to be a hugely in-depth comparison where we test every application you're ever going to run. Uh, it's more of just a general look at real-world performance and comparing these three very different storage devices. So with that, let's get on with it and check out the benchmarks. First up, we have everyone's favourite, the boot test. This one's pretty simple, we measured the time it took for the system to load. Starting the test as the Windows 10 logo appeared, we then stopped the clock the moment the desktop loaded. This took Samsung's 960 EVO just 6 seconds, an impressive time indeed. That said, Crucial's MX300 wasn't far behind, taking just 9 seconds. Meanwhile, the 4TB hard drive keeps us waiting a good bit longer. As it grinded away making all those classical mechanical hard drive sounds, I took a moment to appreciate not having used one of these things as a boot drive anymore. Anyway, Windows finally loaded after 36 seconds. For the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare test, we measured the time it takes to load the game and then continue the current single player campaign mission. We've cut out the splash screens and any input delay from us, so all we have here is pure load times. Essentially if there were no splash screens, this is how long it would take you to get into the game and start playing. In the case of the 960 EVO, that time is just 11 seconds, very impressive stuff. The MX300 takes a little over twice that time, loading in 25 seconds. Still, that's a huge improvement over the WD Red Pro Drive, which took a little over twice as long again at 53 seconds. Civilization 6 is a game that we recently started benchmarking with, but notice that low level times were quite long, especially for the built in benchmark. This test again combines the time it takes to first load the game and then load a level, in other words getting it to a playable state. Even with the snappy 960 EVO installed, this still took 43 seconds, and the MX300 wasn't much slower, taking 53 seconds. Not only that, but the WD Red Pro hard drive wasn't a great deal slower either, taking 66 seconds. Moving on from the games, we decided to measure how long it took for each of these storage devices to load Premiere Pro. The 960 EVO took just 6 seconds, which is a super fast result, given the MX300 took almost twice as long at 11 seconds. Still, 11 seconds seems mighty fast to be coming from a hard drive, as the WD4TB took 63 seconds.
Finally, we took a look at the file extraction performance, though unlike the previous test, we won't show you this one in its entirety. The reason being that the MX300 took a little over four minutes while the hard drive made us wait almost 10 minutes. I thought I'd spare you guys having to watch the entire thing. The 960 EVO really proves its worth with these kinds of workloads, taking just one minute to complete the test, making it four times faster than the SATA SSD. So, under the right conditions, an NVMe SSD such as the 960 EVO can provide a noticeably better experience than a SATA SSD. The right conditions, of course, would be a high-end computer like the one we used, and ideally you really want a heavy workload. Things like Windows boot times are improved, but certainly not to the degree that warrants spending twice as much per gigabyte. Game load times can be drastically reduced as well, though the MX300 wasn't exactly slow here to begin with. Not only that, but once the game is loaded, a high-speed NVMe SSD has nothing else to offer. Where these high-speed SSDs seem to make the most sense are for professionals. Content creators, for example, should see noticeable performance gains when working with Premiere. Not only is the application load time faster, but moving around and working with 4K content should be much quicker as well. Of course, if you do a lot of compression and decompression work, then a high-speed SSD is a must. For general use though, something like an affordable Crucial MX300 SATA SSD will fit the bill nicely. Modern SATA SSDs are plenty fast, and they make mechanical hard drives look like something we probably should have left behind years ago, at least as primary storage drives anyway. Well, that concludes this video, guys. I hope you found the testing interesting, and we do have a lot more content like this planned for the TechSpot channel. I'm your host, Steve. I'll catch you guys next time.